<clears throat> hey, this is Billy from Billy Vegas Scale Model Garage. Uh, this is a replica of the Willis used in the Made for TV movie uh, Hot Rod. It first came out as Hot Rod, I believe, in 1979. Um, I think Hot Rod magazine had a problem with that, so later on the video came came out on video as uh, Rebel of the Road, and um, this is uh, based on the Reveal kit. The gas kit actually. I modified the suspension to, to drop it down in the rear to match the movie car. And you can see the exhaust hanging out from under it in a very unusual fashion. But it was actually like that on the on, on the real car if you see the video. It has some un very unusual bends to it. Um, it had the, that, the real car actually had the American 200s on the rear with white leather tires. And it had the regular old steel wheels up front, just painted black. And um, the chrome was removed and the holes was drilled in place where the um, chrome went, as as with the real car. And the real car was gray primer and it was a little dirty and nasty and dusty and everything. So I done this is my first attempt at a little bit of uh, weathering as far as that part of it goes actually on the body uh, the real car didn't have a grill in it so this one didn't either they actually used three cars in the making of the movie uh, depending on which one you saw the grill opening would change a little bit so with the uh, rear uh, wheel openings um, but it basically they had one like one street version it changed in the drag version though. it was definitely a different car used and uh, the scoop I believe came off of a Badman 55, it's to replicate what was used on the, on the real car in the movie. Yeah, let's get this hood off. And uh, the motor, you really never saw no clear shots of the motor, motor except for the towards the end when they had converted it over to a blower. And uh, this, is, this is the street version of it, so there is no blower. And uh, the street version, they was actually running, at one time you saw the, the car, the AFBs or AFVs or whatever they're supposed to be. Um, these are actually uh, resin carburetors and the Mickey Thompson fin valve covers. And it's a replica in miniatures Maryland, of Maryland um, resin tan cap, because that's what it had, and it had yellow jacket wires. Uh, the firewall, actually made from a piece of aluminum, and... Um, Put some pin heads through it. It actually had some very large rivets, almost like the rivets they use on school buses to, to hold the firewall in there. I got cited at a show for the rivets being too big, but uh, I wish I'd have had some reference uh, to the to the real car because the, the real car did actually have huge rivets in the firewall. Like I said, it's probably a quarter inch rivet and probably had like a very law, large heads on them. Um, like I said, a little bit, a little bit more of the engine detail. Um, I was real pleased with how the engine turned out. Um, the engine is, is 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 the Hemi, as with the real car, and I actually um, had taken that out of a, uh, um, I believe one of the AMT Roadrunner kits, and uh, put the put the detailing items on it to match the real car. The chassis, um, headers. I'm not sure. I think I used the uh, I think I used the AMT Roadrunner headers too, and um, actually uh, just to, by taking different shades of primer and misting it on there to make them look like they was rusted. Uh, same thing with the cherry bomb mufflers or whatever. Just very little of the paint left, and the and the same thing with the, with the pipes and everything. Just misting it on there to make it look like rust. And um, straight axle under the front and at a certain times you could see that the tie rod was chrome so I took a piece of aluminum tube and actually uh, done that to simulate the uh, the chrome tie rod um, probably not going to be able to get it probably can't get in there but uh, the interior yeah that's not going to do it uh, actually has the the real car had a terrible looking blue shag carpet and I actually took blue flocking 
and um, and done the um, done the uh, carpeting to match the, the the ugly blue shag that was on the uh, on the real car in the movie. And um, actually, this this was a, a pretty fun build. It did, it did not take long to build this at all, because uh, basically uh, there was no heavy suspension work done other than just altering it, altering the uh, the ride height just a little bit. So anyway, um, like I said, fairly quick build, and um, I like how the kit turned out. And I got like I said, I got a little uh, something to remember the movie by. Anyway, Billy Vega, over and out.